Well, I'm uh, Light Elk Karen. I live in Mantino, and I'm 84 years old. And uh, I come down with cancer four, four years ago. My name is Susan, and I am Lionel's youngest daughter. Dad has always been a strong person. I don't ever remember him being sick very much throughout his life. He started four years ago with just some back pain. Dr. Long referred us to Dr. Vera Panini. So I had the fortune of meeting Mr. Lionel Karen about four years ago. At the time that we met, he was diagnosed with stage four disease, so we knew that it was metastatic and it wasn't curable. And we had a very honest heart-to-heart -heart talk about goals of care and things to expect over time. Dr. Vera Panini was very um, upfront at our first appointment, um, said maybe six months to a year that she could get him through. He's tolerated a number of chemotherapy regimens and oral agents, and his disease responded and then it progressed. Unfortunately, most recently, he underwent an MRI of the brain in August, which confirmed three new brain metastases. They told me I had three lesions on the brain. They were quite small. Knowing fully well that we had to deal with the brain metastases because these are the most life-threatening, then we made the referral to radiation oncology and neurosurgery. Certainly when you have not one, not two, but three areas of the brain involved with a, a metastases or a spread of the disease, it certainly presents a, a clinical challenge. And that's very scary. Yes, it is. When you talk about the brain. Taking into account Lionel's age, we have to make the decision is, is surgery uh, through the traditional means, opening of the skull and, and alike the way to go, or using the new technology that we have available through the uh, radio surgery system. So I said, we'll give it a try and if it works, fine. If it don't work, well, I, we'll have to try something else. Dr. Yemenez and Dr. And Kuhn. Kuhn was able to do the radiation to his brain due to the machine that is new to our area. Having the availability of uh, true beam uh, radio surgery system here in the community, we can accommodate the patient. That's why we're here, to treat our patients. And, and certainly having the treatment center in town, a few minutes drive, allows us to, to treat our patients in an expedient fashion. Did a wonderful job. They when they finally got done, they uh, said they took and got it in one treatment, which was great. And that treatment option would not have been even considered had we not had this new machine. We're here today to thank all the the supporters and the people that have funded it to be able to bring it to our area. And that I'm very thankful. There's people like that that would that would donate their their money and time to for places like this because without them they wouldn't exist. We're thankful that it is here and that we did not have to drive and go elsewhere. We talk about what an individual like him has gone through. He's, in, he's very, very strong and his daughter is an amazing, amazing source of support for him. He is a wonderful gardener. He makes and grows the best tomatoes um, and it's hard to see him struggle to do some of the things that he truly enjoys. He's my rock. <laughs> it's hard to see your rock struggle. Yeah, you, well them tough days are really tough. You just don't really care whether you live or not live. Because there were some rough days during certain chemos where I know he probably just would have rather just given up, but he keeps doing it because that's just dad. I've been fortunate enough to have, have a daughter that sees after me. I don't guess it's everybody that's that fortunate. I know I, I'm grateful for. There's a lot of things I want to do yet. I'm going to fight it till, it till I try to beat it. One thing I always tell dad is, one day at a time. Mom had Alzheimer's and I would tell him that one day at a time to get us through before she passed. Uh, hope I keep the doctors I got because I'm, I'm very thankful I have them. Having local care for local patients is very important. Anything I need, well, I would, I'm within 15 miles of, 
of anything that for cancer or radiation or anything that the, everything is right here at Riverside. I'm very thankful for that. So certainly the, the donors uh, make it a reality for us to, to treat our patients and, and render the best care possible. Uh, so uh, to a donor, thank you. Uh, first and foremost, but most importantly, uh, giving, uh, giving to others uh, is uh, something that uh, makes uh, a reality what in years past was a dream in our community. We're fortunate to have such a wonderful facility here in our area.